World Health Organization. This is Dr. Hopper. Hello, please, nice please, to meet you. Sorry about the dark. The light hurts his eyes. Thank you. What's his name? Azikiwe. Most call him Kiwe. Hi, Kiwe. My name is Eva. I need to have a little look at you, okay? How long has he been sick? For two days. Has he traveled anywhere recently? He was in Mali last week with his father. Where's his father now? He's at the lighthouse. And that's where he works. Blood pressure, 80 over 50. Circulatory failure. Go on, blood. You all right? Mali, just like the others. Yeah, I know. This is an outbreak, Frank. We got six cases. That's not enough. Oh, how many do we need? Sixty? Six thousand? When does it start to matter? We have to find a source, Frank. You want to go to Mali? It's not going to happen. WHO isn't going to lose any more staff to a civil war. Yeah, finish your report. Good. Just in time for the autopsy. Ava. I'll do what I can do. Hmm? I'll represent to the board. Maybe they'll listen this time. Thank you. We still need blood samples from his father. I'll find the father. <laughs>
How are you? Feeling better? Yes, thank you. I'm Rudy. Sorry, where are you? This is the Martha Ann. It's a pneuma of chip. We didn't know who you were, so we kind of patched you up ourselves. You have edema of the upper tracheal yeah. tract. Right. I've been waiting two months for this moment. Don't mess it up for me by letting him drown. Yes, Admiral. Cover up! Yes, and five, count me four, three, two, one! Thank you very much. <laughs> no, 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 no. Fantastic for me. I can't wait to tell Sandecker that you're not going to be at the museum tonight because one of your contacts from the Nigerian underworld has found mm -hmm. evidence of a Civil War ironclad shipwrecked in a storm, storm off Africa. Africa. Yeah, right. That's what you're talking about, right? Yep. Yeah. Sandecker's going to freak. Look, I'll be there. We'll turn all red. Box chases the rabbit around the tree and down the hole. That's how the tie works. Don't you worry. I'll be there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. First, I'd like to thank the Lagos Museum for this magnificent reception. I would also like to thank our primary benefactor on this project, Yves Massard. Thank you. We are NUMA, the National Underwater and Marine Agency. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is what we do. Team the team. There is not the buffet. Damn it. The help mm. of museums with the help of governments. Private organizations like ours can work in partnership to make sure that history, history that has been lost to the tides of time, can be returned to its people. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a lovely evening. Do you have a CD burner on that ship of yours? Yes, the same one I bought from you last month. I have a wonderful piece. Straight from the Iraqi National Museum. Don't show me things like that, O'Shaughnessy. Okay. We're not that friendly. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, no. Here it is. Ah, a very special piece. The one I spoke to you about. Mm -hmm. It breaks my heart just to show it to you. Where did you get this? Uh -huh. Cash, please. We are not that friendly. <laughs> that was a great party. Thank you for inviting us, Eric. The pleasure is mine. If this is the woman I was telling you about, Dr. Ava Rojas. Hi. I'm delighted to meet your acquaintance. I'm Eve myself. Nice to meet you. This is Dr. Brandon Hopper. Yeah, how do you do? How do you do? Eve does a lot of business in Africa. Some even in Mali. Will you excuse me? I understand you believe there is some sort of plague coming out of Mali? We don't like to say plague. What do you think it is then? A plague? So you do business in Mali. Hmm. Do you know anyone there who could help us by pressuring the WHO to send a team? Well, you see, much of Mali is controlled by a warrior. General Kasim. Hmm. Do you know him? Yes. He used to be a colonel in the Malian army and gave himself an upgrade the day he shot the president. He's the man who put the war back into warlord. He controls the country. 
half of it, and the other half no one controls with, I don't know, which is worse. But I have to warn you, it is very dangerous for foreigners right now. I would say it's probably more dangerous for locals. Uh, yes, but your death would look very bad in the papers. So that's the word plague. All right, I, I will call some people, but um, at the end of the day, I'm just a businessman, so be patient. Oh, yeah, she's good at that. Admiral, have you ever seen a Confederate gold dollar? Oh, dear God, don't start this again. Of course not, because the Confederacy never made a gold dollar. The mint was destroyed at the end of the war. I beg you, on my hands and knees, don't. But not before. Jefferson Davis had five samples made. He gave four of those samples to his top generals. Lee, Stonewall, Jackson, Every Jeb Every time Johnson. we come to Africa, out comes that stupid ship model. Out come the old port journals. We are leaving for Australia tomorrow. Four of those samples have been found. But the fifth never was. That one was given to an old family friend of Davis, a brilliant young sea captain named Mason Toombs, captain of the CSS Ironclad, Texas. Where in the hell did you get this? Frederick O'Shotty. He got it from a man named Digway. But the important thing is that Digway found this in Labazanga, Mali. Hey, my dad collects coins. Well, that coin in the Texas were in the Niger River. It's impossible. An ironclad couldn't make it with her draft. Let me take the calabria to Labazanga and look around. Can't have my boat dirt. Three days, Admiral. Just three days. Imagine. Imagine. All right, if I strike out, we'll never hear another word about this. You got 72 hours. Not a nanosecond more. You fellas just bought yourself a boat trip. You're a gentleman, Admiral. I don't care what they say about you. I got a bottle. Says we never find it. Make it a case. I Joe's making budgetary cutbacks? Lee, it's important. You guys got enough gear? Probably not. Small boat. No privacy. I'm not shy. This is more of a show like that, huh? This is the center of the cluster, here, Acelar. That's where we have to go. 
right in the middle of the scene Civil War. Hey, you ever been after Marlins, doctor? Oh, no, not the Marlins story again. Huh? 733 pounds, five and a half hours in the fighting chair. I thought it was 600 pounds. Hey, what did you catch that day? I can't remember anything at all. How long have you guys been together? Uh, since kindergarten, college, Navy, Numa. Poor guy's always been in my shadow. Always the owl's mate, never the owl. Right? <laughs> Nice, Doc. Pulling your way. My watch, Chief. Your friend Al told me all about your Captain Toons and his boat. Oh, he did, did he? He also said ironclads were not made to cross the ocean. Oh, neither was man. You? And you found a coin. Hmm. Stay coin. I found the coin. Now, I also have a letter from the captain's widow alluding to her husband's urgent eastern voyage. I have a sailor's log on the Atlantic Clipper who swears on a stack of Bibles he saw a great iron beast sting two miles off the African coast. Now, what kind of man tries to take a ship like that across the ocean? Why? How? I don't know. But I plan on finding out. Hmm. I loves it when people ask me that. Thinks it makes me look a bit. <laughs> this must be nice. Mm. To have this as your office. Yeah, that'd be a great thing that's ever happened to me after the water. Everyone. Sands, aqua blue surf, place is paradise. Sounds good. Oh, yeah. I also happen to know a woman who has a house there. And because she's a workaholic, she's never at home. Now, I haven't asked her, but I'm pretty sure that she wouldn't mind if you dropped by. Can I bring a friend? You don't have to ask her. I already did. I did. You, me, and the Bay of Monterey. Thank you for everything. You're welcome. Good luck to you. Years left. One route, Doxy. Bonjour, Madame. Ça va? Uh, Mr. Indigway. He li. Oh, 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 woman. Oh, woman. Oh, woman. Indigway. He find this one week before. Yes. Indigway, mon ya is the man. You know, I'm not too much of a linguist, but that didn't sound too good. Nigway's dead. Yeah. Hey, the check? What is it? L'addition? You know, my dad collected ancient coins from uh, Rome, China, Siam, Persia. Somehow they all ended up in a shoebox in New Jersey. Meaning? Coins travel, dirt. Huh? I mean, even if that poor guy was still alive, could have been nothing. Yeah, but the coin traveled from somewhere, Al. Well, unless it hits to ride on the back of a dolphin. I'm gonna guess that his jumping off point is a little bit closer to where we're sitting. Really, you can see that ironclad steaming up the river? I mean, really, isn't it more likely that we missed it somewhere off the coast of Virginia? Huh? Right? Hello? Here. I'll meet you at the boat. Ow. Nope. I got the check. Don't worry about it. No, I'm serious. I know. I get it all the time. Sit down. I'll get the check. Is this you?
shake. My name is Dirk. I'm looking for a boat. And when will we be seeing this boat? About 140 years ago, in 1866, back when Lavazanga was one of the greatest ports in Africa. Do you know anything else? We use events to find dates, not dates to find events. Well, there was a storm. There was a great storm. One that would have raised the depths of the Niger enough to allow the boat to get here, yes. It is written here. Six days after the great storm, a dark ship rode without sails under the banner of a single star. It was driven up river, never to return, bearing death. It brought a sickness from here up to God and bore over 300 souls to heaven. It was believed a damnation from Allah. A ghost ship, a cursed ship. Safina too, I'm out. Safina too. What does that mean? Not too well known. What? Not there, but now. Yeah, it sounds poetic. What's it mean? The ship of death. Great! We call Sand Ecker? No, 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 no. What ship? Who's that? He just tell us to come home. Sounds great. Yeah, then I get a case of tequila. But when we're going upriver to Gal. All right. Where are you going to run the uh, sonar on the river bed? Come on, I was hoping to meet a girl on the Australia trip. Mm -hmm. You know, African war zone, ship of death. This is fresh water. I better get a sample. Yeah. It's okay. They're just looking for Tuareg fighters. Mayenne. And one of them actually killed the Comte de Fesoulet. Isn't that fascinating? Beats for the natives, Eve. What do you want? Ah, well, um, you know the doctors I was telling you about? I am afraid they are on their way to Mali. I thought your man was going to take care of them in Lagos. And we had a problem. And now the problem is mine. <clears throat> uh, another thing, General, if I may say, I am slightly concerned your measures of containment are losing their effectiveness. Why? Because five or six poor souls escaped from Mali and died in their beds. And the disease spreads quick and luckily it kills quickly too. General, I think you should control the movements of your population. What's that? Are you trying to tell me how to run my country? You take care of your business, Eve. I'll take care of mine. Of course. Right. Nope. River? Mm -hmm. Radio. Nope. Radar. Moody. That's not... It is. Can't even be... Alright, it's on my mic. Yeah. Hi. It's fine. It's fine. 
guys. Company. Hi, this is Al Giardino speaking. Al, Sandecker. I presume you're on your way home with my boat. For you. Yeah. I have to put you on hold. Probably this is a normal shake now, huh? Yeah. 
Consider this your course, Rudy. It's kind of pass fail, which I always thought was easier. Look, Rudy, lay up here till Doc can make you move. The border's not far. All right. Al, you remember that time in Morocco? Oh, yeah, when you made me uh, ride that damn camel that bit my ass? Yeah, missed the time. Why? <laughs> What is the secret to this thing? Just wrap it around your noggin. What part? Here? This? Yeah. Well, how come yours stays on? Maybe you got a small head. I don't think so. Somebody would have told me. You don't know why you are your water boy, I'm on your run. You don't know why you are your water boy, I'm on your run. This well was filled in recently. I think people here knew the water was making them sick. I still say, should let Omar go down. 
Hold on. You wouldn't mind going down that well, would you? Oh, it's okay. I'll go down. Let's see. Frank, I'll be fine. This is all of them. Yes, sir. You win. How is everyone here? Good night. Nation. Sanction. Nation. Where's your colleague? No, 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 no. I mean the woman. She didn't come. She's killed. This pistol, it belonged to General Sir Henry Watkins. 0.455 caliber. Where you there? Hard to find the rounds. I have them made by Holland and Holland of London. 27 pounds each. Hmm. You should put the money to better use. By containing this plague. <laughs> I will give you some advice. Tell me where Dr. Rojas is. She's not here. Have it your own way. Make it look like a horde of Twilight swine just came through here. And find the woman. Yes, sir. She's here. Somewhere. Thank <laughs> you. 
country now. We're going to drive north about three hours to hit the flatlands. From there it should be a relatively easy drive to the Algerian border. Sorry. Ava. Ava. We'll get through, huh? Shot dead in cold blood. What do you think about that? Hardly my responsibility. No, no, no. You see, you see. You are a very brave man. The only survivor. Crawled all the way from Astana to bring me the news. Are they recommendable? Caught in a classic Tuareg ambush, wouldn't you say? Possibly. One problem. There were no Tuareg. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me the doctors had American military support? Because they didn't. The two unarmed men who did this, they were not amateurs, Eve. Nobody wants on the boat. They're the same men, I think. They're treasure hunters, General. Marine salvage, they call themselves. Hardly your military elite. Don't <laughs> underestimate them. Watch out. And if you find them, bring them to me. Get out of the jeep. Keep your hands up. Move slowly.
doctor from the World Health Organization. I'm investigating the source of a disease. Come with me. This is the disease you are looking for? Poison. There are toxins in the water here and in Aceler. Toxins. Yes, that's what's making these people sick. Can you treat it? <laughs> Admiral, what can I do for you? I'm here from Mali. Beautiful country? Oh, I guess my ass. I hear it's about a couple of uh, American boys in their fancy yacht getting in some trouble on the Niger. Yeah? Does the agency have a presence there? Oh, strip your hands off. Carl. Uh, I gotta get my boys out. <laughs> They're private citizens. Now, if they choose to go down there and get themselves shot up over some sunken treasure, that is not a company problem. I'm not asking the company. Yeah, you've got some nerve. You come down here compromising my cover, and now you're gonna ask me to risk my whole career over this nonsense? Well, since you put it that way, yes, I am. No, you're not, because I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. October 27th, 1982. Yeah, I knew you'd bring that up. And now I have. Mm. If I do this, we are even. Slate's clean. Let's see what I can do. Always a pleasure, my friend. Benzene, heavy metals, nitrates, basically, the water's toxic. Kazim's men followed your trail. You must leave tomorrow at first light. Modivo. Ava found the same poison in the wells at Asilo. It's over 300 miles. Africa, we find it place for us. Modivo. We have to find the source. That is for you. My duty is here with my people. What are you in the morning? Her, that my cop visits your eyes. It's 1936 Avoir Passant. Six cylinder sleeve valve engine. You know there's only six of these ever made? How the hell did you get it? We borrowed it from Kazim. Okay, here we go. Come on. New L record, right here. Ah! You gotta see. Huh? Yeah. Right, give me a minute. Come on. That is your Texas we're looking at, isn't it? Sure, the hell looks like it. Yeah. Sitting in the middle of the desert. Yeah. 
Hey, I'm not paying off the tequila on a picture, okay? Ship of the desert's a camel. It's not an ironclad battleship. I mean, there is no way that that could get across the desert. At one time, much of this desert was lush green farmland, and there were rivers everywhere. Now, the ironclad obviously came up this river and stopped at this structure. Which is a fort, a castle? I don't know. So the climate changed. So let's say the water level dropped. The boat came stranded. Yeah, or uh, sailed away. Or the land dried up. The soil turned to dust. The sands blew in. And the ship is still buried to this day. Right here, next to the structure. Okay, great. So uh, all we have to do is wait for the river to fill up again and uh, sail to Texas on it. That's how it's spreading. What is it? The toxins. Uh -huh. What, in the dried up, non-existent river? Uh, no, the same river that was on the surface 150 years ago still exists. It's just beneath our feet now, sunk in the sand running along the rock strata. Now, the toxins are obviously leaching from their source into the underground river system. Spreading from well to well. Exactly. So we find your Texas. We find the underground river. We find the river. We find the source of the toxins. Apple, nine out. someone that you haven't seen since high school and they, and they got some dead-end job and they're married to some woman that hates him they got like three kids and thinks he's a joke isn't there some point we stood back and said bob don't take that job bob don't marry that harpy you know your point well we're in the middle of a desert looking for the source of a river pollutant using as our map a uh, cave drawing of a civil war gunship which is also in the desert so I was just wondering when we're going to have to sit down and reevaluate our decision-making paradigm. Uh, I don't know. Mark is up. solar energy plant. That's strange. There's a collecting tower. But no outgoing transmission lines. Massard Enterprises. Massard? Yves Massard? Well, whoever it is, they've got heavy security. Let's check it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
full of chemical waste. And the one in that chamber. They're coming out the other side empty. They're using the solar power to superheat and vaporize the toxins. That's smart. Looks clean, too. What about those batteries? source. something within one week it's going to hit the atlantic and when that interacts with the salt water that growth rate is going to explode the oxygen levels in the affected waters will decrease by 40 to 60 percent killing all plant and animal life if it gets to the ocean it's halfway to new york within six months then there's nothing we can do is that all <laughs> Do you have any independent confirmation? No. Nope. Because intervening in a sovereign country, granted, I'm only in the job a couple months, I'm pretty sure that's going to be tough to get an okay for. I need you to try. Oh, I'm going to look into this. I am. I'm going to pass this on to the State Department, get their take on this. Okay, I think that's the best way to proceed. Thank you, gentlemen. They're on their way, General. Ah, the, the doctor, well, uh, I'm afraid there has been an incident, uh, General. Uh, an exchange of gunfire, most unfortunate. Um... 
She, she's dead. Yes, General. I'm sorry I... You know, Dr. Doffus, you're lucky I'm such a gentleman. Who else knows you're here? This facility is a miracle of modern science. State of the art technology. Solar energy harnessed to destroy the world's contaminants. Not such a bad idea, after all. It's a toxic waste dump. It's not so simple. You see, all new technology has enemies. Sandstorms, for example, they chip away the mirrors. Productivity falls and the waste needs to be stored underground. So, we have developed new laminate coating to protect the mirrors. And with this new approach, our problems should now be in the past. You're poisoning a river system underground. It's spreading across Western Africa. You're wrong. That's impossible. Who else knows you're here? The Nigerian government? The WHO. No one else knows you're here today. Packages have not arrived. Apparently, they were lost in the desert. I heard. Tell me, if the doctor promised me she's dead. Oh, yes, yes. It'd be a shame to fall out over a woman, no? <laughs> and General, I've come here to tell you that I think we should suspend waste shipments to the plant for the time being. Nonsense. The borders are all closed. The sick are either quarantined or dead. I did not expend all these resources only to see my profit shrink. Yes, but I have good reasons to believe the toxins are in the Niger River. And the problem is no longer ours. But our neighbors don't shrink. They will soon find out the Americans did. Okay, Eve, as you please. Close the plant, but your payments to me will continue. Okay. Don't worry. It's Africa. Nobody cares about Africa. This order was taken 24 hours ago. Normally, Kasim likes to keep his tanks where you can see them in case the people get frisky. This one, taken four hours ago, shows the tanks mobilizing north to the desert. So my guess, and intelligence supports this, they're looking for your boys. Well, we'll have to find them first. And yeah, we already did. Yesterday they showed up in a Tuareg village, about 20 miles northwest of Gao. That's within range. You could get choppers in there if you mm -hmm. blew at night. But your boys already left. Left? Where? Going where? Well, based on their behavior so far, I have no idea.
afraid, buddy, but I don't think we can fix this thing. something for you. Rudy's got chemistry here. It says if that leak's not shut down ASAP, it's going to reach the ocean. And when it does, that'll be ground zero for the Atlantic's version of Chernobyl. I get it. I've got something more. I've got word that Kazim has mobilized his troops and is heading across the desert. We could use some serious muscle here, Admiral. Well, you're not going to get it. Not fast enough. I'm getting the DC two-step big time. And this has to be done yesterday. I got it. Hey! Yeah. I can't ask you boys to go this alone. Well, that's the great part, sir. You know, you never have to. There is no more time, Medieval. Now is your chance to hit Kazim where it really hurts. We only have small arms. We are no use against concrete and heavy machine guns. But you have power in numbers. We attack when he does not expect it. We have to try. Do you know what Kazim's war with us has cost my people in lives? In the poverty and disease it causes. Come with us. And let's finish it. I cannot afford to have my men slaughtered in a full frontal attack. We cannot go with you. I understand. Well, we had another idea. Can I go your car? President? 
hide the evidence, right? Yeah, right. How? How do you hide 50 tons of industrial waste without anybody noticing it? You don't. He's gonna blow the place out. That's not exactly subtle. That's what he's gonna do. That's why it's abandoned. Make it look like an industrial accident, and he walks. That's a good idea. No, not really. Why? The toxins would be sealed underground, and there'd be no way to contain them out. But if you bring this place down, you'd need 20 or 30 military-grade devices all wired for simultaneous detonation. It would never look like an accident. Unless one centrally placed device diverted all the plants stored energy into one massive explosion. Which would look like an accident. Yes. Well, we gotta get that bomb. Out. I'll, I'll find the bomb. You get the girl. Deal.
Commence incineration burn. In five, four, three, two, one. I actually saved yours. I wasn't in any danger. Oh, no? No. I thought of something. In there. We gotta go. Hey, what's with the costumes? Uniforms? It's his idea. Hey, by the way, with this plane of yours, we have enough gas? Oh, stop being so negative, Al. Huh? Thirty minutes left to flight time. These walls. 
They're two feet thick with a double steel coating, so there's no way his bullets can get to us. We should sit tight and wait him out. <laughs> About this size, they look something like carrot sticks. Right?
Texas is uh, going well. Giardino's on the job, making sure everything gets where it's supposed to go. Uh, all right, say, uh, probably not true, but did I hear a rumor there's some American gold on board uh, on the Texas? Really? <laughs> be nice if it were true. No, I can assure you there's no gold there belonging to the U.S. Admiral, the administration was highly impressed with the way you expedited all the red tape down here. They'd like to fold New Orleans. No, thanks. I'll never work in government again. Exactly what they said you'd say. Look, they're offering full funding in exchange for the occasional side job for the good guys. Who decides who the good guys are? You only do the jobs you want. I need a new yacht. You got it. And Rudy needs new computers. No, no, no. I'm done. There's one more thing.